Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be studying about how we'll be revising questions of mineral-based industries. So let's start the video. The first question: Which of the following elements, which of the following statements are correct? So iron and steel is the mother of all industries. Iron and steel forms the backbone of industrial development. Source of raw material for two industries. So the correct answer will be D. All of the above. All of the above. What true? So this is true. This is true. And this is true. The second question: Which of the following statements is are uh, not correct? So A would be the false statement. Of course, if you read it, India is the fourth largest crude steel producing country in the world, 2021. This is false. It is actually second in steel in crude steel production in the world, 2021. Okay, so let's move on to the third question. Which of the following is the correct statements of removing impurities from iron ore? So one steel is cast into. So this is a, basically a process, and you have to rearrange the numbers in the proper sequence of the whole process, from removing impurities to iron ore. So the correct answer in this case would be C. Five, four, three, two, one. So it goes from bottom to top. The fourth question: Which of the following statements is are correct about mini plants? Okay, so let, read the following question and. The correct answer for this would be D. All of the above. Now let's see why is it D. A would be correct because it needs smaller units. These work through electric furnaces, and these mainly use steel strap and sponge iron or pig iron as their raw material. So this would be true. Okay. The fifth question: Which of the following is are the advantages of mini steel plants? C would be the correct answer because scrap iron is used as raw material as well as it can be built with less capital investments, as the name suggests. <clears throat> Sixth question: Why do many seed plants not cause pollution? Because they run on electricity. This is the major advantage. It is one of the most important advantages of many seed plants. So read the textbook carefully, especially many steel plants. Seventh question: Which of the following can be considered as disadvantages of iron and steel industry? So the correct answer in this case would be D. All of the above. Let's read the above options. This industry is the capital-intensive industry. You need massive amounts of capital to set up factories, etc. This industry lags behind in using advanced technological inputs. Both of these are correct. And high grade of coking oil is used for smelting iron ore, which is limited. So this is also true. Let's move on to eighth question. Many small iron and steel plants have been closed down. Why have they been closed down? Because inadequate supply of power. This is the main reason why small iron and steel plants have closed down. Okay, so let's move on to the ninth question. The discarded or waste pieces of iron to be recast or reworked are known as what? They are known as scrap iron. Tenth question: A piece of pure material, usually metal, that is cast into shapes suitable for further processing. Is known as ingots. C would be the correct answer. Eleventh, which of the following statements is are correct? Many steel plants mainly use steel scrap and sponge iron. Integrated steel plants are unified steel mills. Uh, both A and B or D, none of these. So C would be the correct answer. Twelfth question: Which of the following is used by many steel plants and furnaces? So steel scrap is used in many steel plants and furnaces. Thirteenth question: the large largest mineral based industry is iron and steel industry. B would be the correct answer. They are not asking for largest agro based industry, so therefore A and D would not be the correct answer. Fourteenth question: La four large scale industries dependent on iron and steel industry are D. All of these. Shipbuilding is huge. Engineering goods industry is also a big, and automobile industry is also big in India. So these are large-scale industries which are dependent on iron and steel industry. Fifth question, fifteenth question: Which of the following problems can be re removed through rapid industrialization? Poverty and un unemployment can be removed through rapid industrialization. So C would be the correct answer. Sixteenth question: In which year the root killer steel plant was established? Which year was it established? It is extremely important. Remember the dates properly. It is it's established in B, nineteen fifty nine. Seventeenth question: Root killer steel plant receives raw material from which district? D. All of these. 
बराज बराजमर बराजमरा कियोंजर एंड सुंदरगढ़ एटीनथ क्वेश्चन रूड किला स्टील प्लांट रिसीव्स लाइम स्टोन फ्रॉम विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट रिसीव्स फ्रॉम बीरमित्रापुर बी वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर Nineteenth question. Match the following. So you have dolomite, coal, electricity, and you have some districts given over here. Now this is continued over here. So will it be A, B, C, or D? Let's see. So the correct option in this case would be B. Why? Let's see. Now first will be matched to second. First will be matched to second. Second will be matched to third. So coal will be matched to third chair, and electricity will be matched to first. Here are coal. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Twentieth question: From which of the following dams the water is applied to the root killer steel plant? So there are some rivers and dams given over here. So the correct answer in this case would be Mandira Dam. C would be the correct answer. Twenty-first question: Which of the following statements are correct about the root killer steel plant? So this would be D. All of the above. Twenty-second question: Which of the following is produced by root killer seed plant in large quantities for manufacturing fertilizers and various chemicals? So this would be nitrogen. C would be the correct answer. Twenty-third question: Hindustan Machine Tools is located in which city? It is located in Bengaluru. C. Twenty-fourth question: First modern steel industry in India was set up in 1870. B would be the correct answer. Twenty-fifth question: The reasons favoring the location of iron and steel plants in North Eastern Deccan Plateau are. So this would be C, both A and B. Available uh, availability of iron ore as well as Deccan Plateau being densely populated and cheap labor is available. So A and B are correct. Twenty-sixth question: The Pune Mumbai region is the most important industrial region in India, is because D, all of the above. these are larger centers of cotton textiles these are major centers of chemical industry also these are major center of electronics 27th question which of the following statements is correct so iron and steel industry is also known as basic industry it also helps in development of agriculture it helps it is a heavy industry which because all raw materials and finished products are heavy and bulky so d would be the correct answer 28th which of the following cities is known for iron and Implements in agriculture. So, which city is this? This is D. All of the above. So, Punjab, Sri Nagar, and Ajmer are cities that are known for iron implements for agriculture. Twenty ninth question: The iron and steel plant established with British collaboration is. So, this would be Durgapur in Durgapur. A would be the correct answer. Now, let's move on to the next question, the thirtieth question. Iron and steel industries are established close to the market. Why are they established close to the market? Because D, all of the above, steel products are quite heavy. Steel products are bulky. Transportation cost for steel products is very high. That's why they are located located close to the market. I've already explained this in my previous video where I had revised question about iron based industries. If you haven't checked that video out, do uh, just close this video, go to that video, revise the video again, and then come to this video. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Thirty-first. Which of the following statements is R correct? So read the following options and uh, conclude which is the correct option. In this case, it would be D. All of the above. So petrochemicals are chemicals which are obtained either directly or indirectly from chemical processing or petroleum oil. Correct. Major petrochemicals are acetylene, benzene, ethane, etc. So these are organic compounds. All of them. C. Petrochemical industries are generally located near an oil refinery, which can supply the basic requirements for naphtha or ethylene or benzene. So D would be the correct answer. Thirty-second question. Petrochemicals are not used to produce what? They are not used to produce D. Natural cell. So synthetic fibers, synthetic rubber, and plastics are petrochemicals are used to produce these uh, three products. Thirty-third question: Advantage of petrochemical products are it is cost-effective, raw material is easily available, highly compact, portable source of energy. So, of course, D would be the correct answer. All of these. Thirty-fourth question: Match the following. So, petroleum production units and location. So, we have to match the following. 
So Herdelia Chemicals Limited is located in Chennai. So first of all, we will look at the following options and see if one is matched to four, which option has one matched to four. So one is to one, this is wrong. One is to four. This is a potential option. We have to look if there are other options such as this, which have one matching to four. One is matched to second, this is wrong. And then one is matched to third, this is wrong. So we can be confident that B is the only answer. So B will be the correct option. 35th question, the Indian Petrochemical Corporation is located in which state or city? So Vadodara will be the correct option. Indian Petrochemical Corporation Limited is located in Vadodara. 36, the petrochemical complex, the first petrochemical complex was established in Trombe. 37th question, the Udex plant is located in which city? It is located in Koyali. 38th question, the electronic capital of India is, of course, Bengaluru. B will be the correct answer. 39th question, most of the petrochemical units are in Maharashtra or Gujarat. What is the reason? So in this case, C will be the correct answer. Why? Because industry gets its raw material from oil refineries. So most of the units are near oil refineries. True. Both Maharashtra and Gujarat have import-export facilities. Yes, this is also correct. 40th question, the period between dash is considered as the golden age of electronics in India. So which period is known as the golden period of electronics in India? It is 1984 to 1990. So C will be the correct option. <clears throat> 41st question, which of the following years is known for the beginning of electronic industry in India? So 1965, the option the correct option is B, 1965. So 41st question, B is the correct answer. 42nd, India is an exporter of which of the following products, electronic appliances? So the correct answer will be D, all of these. It exports display technologies such as TV, entertainment, electronics, like TV and mobile, telecom equipment like telephones, etc. 43rd question, advantages of Indian electronic industry are what are the advantages? D will be the correct answer. Policy, regulatory support, market demand, and most importantly, manpower and market demand. So these are very important. 44th question, which of the following is not correctly matched? Indian telephone industry is Bengaluru Electronics Corporation of India, Hyderabad. So both of these are true. Bharat Electronics Limited, New Delhi. No, this is false. Uh, this is false. So C in this case would be the correct option. Bharat Electronics Limited is located in Bengaluru. This is not located in New Delhi. So this is located in Bengaluru. Okay, 45th question. Space technology in India was established in which year? It was established in 1960s. So B will be the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to the 46th question. Which of the following institutions were established to give impetus to space research programs in India? So the correct answer will be D, all of the above. National Remote Agency or NRA True Satellite Launching Station. And finally, India's premier space organization, A, Indian Space Research Organization, also known as ISRO. 47th, it's a, a government organization that launches rockets into space, such as NASA does. India's master satellite was a Aryabhatta. 48th question, in which year the satellite Bhaskara was launched? Remembering dates is very important, so do remember the dates. 1979 would be the correct option. 49th question, in which year India's first scientific mission, Chandrayaan-1, was launched? It was launched in A, 2008. Okay, let's move on to the next and final question. The 50th question, which of the following is a software giant? So Infosys, Wipro, and TCS, all are big software giants. So TCS performance, Tata Consultancy and consultancy services. So both of these, uh, all three of these are software giants, so they will be the correct answer. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned and enjoyed this video. Uh, this video will be uploaded on Ezekiel Classes Shivam. Do check out this video as well as previous geography videos which I have covered. <clears throat> We've also revised questions on minerals and agro-based industries, so check those videos out. So have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.